this is our coastline and A is moving something like this along this particular straight line and B is continuously directed towards A so this is at t equal to 0 this is at t equal to 0 after some time B is going to reach this particular point and A is going to reach this particular point then velocity of B will be directed along this particular straight line towards A obviously A will be moving along this particular straight line so after some time A would be at this location and B would be at this location and velocity of B would be di directed along this A after a small instant A would be at this instant and B would be at this location and velocity of B would be directed along this particular direction after a long time B is moving along this particular curve and at time t velocity of b is directed towards this particular direction and at this particular instant b is here and a is here velocity of a would also be along this particular direction so separation between the two becomes constant this is the value we need to calculate this separation r we need to find what's the final separation between the two now in this particular question your velocity of approach along the line joining the two particles is not constant velocity of approach along this line is V velocity of approach along this line becomes less than V velocity of approach still becomes smaller velocity of approach still becomes more smaller and finally velocity of approach becomes zero why it becomes zero because both have same speed so if we look from this particular black axis at some instant so this is a question of V approach not constant so this is our basically our, our question and after this happens at time t at time t B is here and A is here now this t is tending to infinity don't worry about it and this is your locations at t equal to 0 at some instant velocity of b is directed along this particular line this is our b and obviously a should be at this particular location it's always directed towards a velocity of a would be something like this so we can say let's assume that this angle to be theta then velocity of approach at this particular instant is your relative velocity along this red line now if this angle is theta then this angle is going to be theta and we can take components of V along line joining the two particles that comes out to be V sine theta and V cos theta so we can say at this particular instant your velocity of approach is V minus V sine theta suppose at this instant the separation between the two particles is L then I can say V minus V sine theta is minus of DL by DT L is your separation between A and B so integrating both sides it comes out to be V minus V sine theta into DT is equal to minus DL at T equal to 0 now this L what's the value of L at T equal to 0 value of L at T equal to 0 is our capital D and at time capital T its value is say R this value is R we have to find this value of R this comes out this integral comes out to be Vt minus V integral of sine theta dt 0 to t is equal to minus r plus d remember that this theta cannot be taken out of this integral because this theta is a function of t it depends on time to time this actually theta goes from 0 to 90 degrees look at the diagram carefully
So we cannot solve this particular equation for r. This is our equation 1. Now if I choose this to be x-axis and this to be y-axis and look at motion of b. This is our b. Look at motion of b along y-axis. If I look at this motion of b along y-axis, I can say at some instant component of velocity of b along y-axis is v sin theta. So we can say v sin theta is equal to positive of dy by dt. If I integrate this particular thing over 0 to t, this comes out to be v sin theta dt 0 to t is equal to y. Now what is this y? This is the value of displacement of b in y axis at time 0 to capital T. This is our displacement of b along y axis in between t equal to 0 to t where t is the time when their velocity of approach becomes 0. They are both moving along y axis. So this y is basically if you look at this particular diagram this is y. Look at this diagram again. This is our b. This is our a. This was moving along y axis perpendicular to the coast and B was approaching A and at time T B is at this location it's moving along Y axis and A is at this location and it's moving along Y axis this is at time T and I have calculated this displacement of B along Y axis in between 0 to T then displacement of A along y axis in this time same time is going to be y plus r so I can say y plus r is equal to displacement of a along y axis in between t equal to 0 to time t this is going to be basically your vt so using these two ex expressions or rather using these two expressions I can say V integral of sin theta dt 0 to t plus r is equal to vt this is our expression 2 now looking at expression 1 and expression 2 I can put the value of this particular integral in 1 from 2 and I get something like Vt minus of V Vt minus R over V is equal to D minus R and on calculating this particular thing your R comes out to be D by 2 So it's nothing, it's, it's just that your velocity of approach is not constant. Now in this particular case, so what actually happened is B was moving towards A and A was moving along this particular straight line. Initial separation between the two was D and after a long time your B is moving towards A and A is moving along this particular y-axis and B is also moving along this particular y-axis and the separation between the two becomes d by 2 that's what we have calculated if velocity of A is u and A moves along this particular straight line which is perpendicular to the coast and B always moves towards A with some speed V. Now U is a constant velocity, V is a constant speed because its direction is con continuously changing. And if your V is greater than U, 
eventually B is going to catch up with A at some instant what's going to happen is your A is going to move in this particular Y axis towards y positive Y axis with some U this is our A and at this particular instant your B is going to come and hit A because V is greater than U and find this time T when this happens find this time t when this happens solve it answer for t is dv over v square minus u square 